Hello everyone, it's being reported in the news today that the uh, many banks in Beijing has actually raised uh, their mortgage rate from 0.85 to 0.9 uh, recently. Now, what does that mean? Well, let me show you by, by some examples. If you're taking a 2 million RMB loan from a bank with a length of maturity of 30 years, you will need to pay uh, an additional uh, 100,000 RMB more in a way to matching the rate payments of the principal and the interest. So uh, this is quite significant uh, for average family if they raise the interest rate from 0.85 to 0.9. Yeah, it sounds like a considerable amount of money for an average family. Yeah, and I think it will make a big difference to people's state purchase. In fact, um, governmental regulations are trying to do some stabilization of the real estate market and the house pricing. Okay, I think uh, as one of the pillar industry in China for the um, economic development, the real estate industry um, is really laying a solid foundation for all aspects of life and making a great contribution to the economic development and urban construction specific. Uh, from this perspective, that the sound and steady uh, development of real estate industry is of a great importance for the country. But as we know, there are just lots of problems in real estate industry, such as regulation problems and high pricing or uh, difficulties to purchase. So to ensure the steady development of such market as real estate, the government should reconsider their regulations about that to make the strict regulations about the house pricing, because as you know, it's increasing yearly and to control this kind of processes and any other speculations in the real estate. Yeah, I think that you're right. An investigation has been conducted that found that the housing price is actually greatly influenced by a government policy. Hey, Billy, can you give us an example? For example, uh, do you still remember uh, the policy of raising the mortgage rate from uh, a, uh, 0.85 to uh, 0.9? Uh, with comparatively low interest rate on savings and the investment being really high risk and people prefer to purchase the fixed properties uh, such as housing. Uh, so real estate uh, industry becoming really popular as people expect that the housing property would not only hold value uh, but increase uh, and appreciate and making the real estate industry popular among all the people here. Currently, I think most people purchase the home through a loan, so uh, this uh, mortgage rate change will uh, make it possible to limit the house purchasing uh, to some extent uh, by such a policy change. According to statistics, the growth of mortgage <clears throat> in 2016 has achieved the highest in the last five years. Is there any other policy or measure to control house prices? Uh, of course, uh, there are many other uh, regulatory policies released in uh, 21 cities in China around October of 2016, mainly through the uh, raising the down payment and uh, restrictions on the purchase by uh, using the household register. Uh, in addition, uh, some cities have taken the measures of increasing land supply and to limit the price of uh, land auction. Yeah, this policies and measures are released in order to prevent the house pricing grow too rapidly and ensure the sound estate development of the real estate market. Yeah, in a central uh, uh, economic working conference convened at the end of 2016, the Chinese president Xi has made it very clear that the house is for living, not for speculation. Uh, so have you ever heard about that? Yes. Yeah. Interesting. In this conference, uh, many uh, concrete ways controlling the increasing of the housing price were put forward. Uh, can you um, list some out? Yeah, I actually followed the conference. So uh, it pointed out that the local government should take the responsibility. Uh, the cities with more pressure, uh, they should increase the land supply reasonably, as well as the proportion of residential land. In addition, I think that megalopolises uh, should speed up the promotion of development, small and medium-sized cities. Mm, yeah, I think you're right. Uh, in fact, in the year of 2016 was a momentous year for the real estate market uh, in China. For the first half of 2016, house prices increased too rapidly in the first tier and second tier cities such as Beijing and Shenzhen. Uh, however, I think around October 20th, uh, the, the more cities around uh, the country uh, introduced some measures. Uh, stabilizing the uh, real estate market uh, in time. Sounds like a roller coaster of house price, full of ups and downs. 
Oh, yeah, I think at the present, the real estate industry in China is out of balance. Uh, to be more specific, on one hand, in some areas, the housing property or the housing supply is greater than the real estate uh, demand, leading to the vacancy in commercial housing. Uh, on the other hand, was the high um, house price. So I think the most families of middle or lower income cannot afford a house, so leading to even greater uh, vacancy. Yes, in some areas of China, lots of commercial houses uh, remain unsold, and this is a, a consequence of this higher vacancy. And besides, uh, from the consumer's perspective, um, the original consumption is also really important factor because most of consumers are easily influenced by property speculators and media debates. Yeah, I can't agree more. Some of investors, driven by the profits, have increased the housing prices under these circumstances, making it almost impossible for the buyer to afford a house. And this is leading to the widening of the rich-poor gap in China. Well, I think with the, such a status quo uh, of the real estate industry, the uh, related regulatory policies um, in, our, in this country, uh, can you make a prediction of the future trend in the real estate industry in the future? Well, according to the State Statistics Bureau in China, uh, the housing prices gradually stabilized, so in the coming year, there probably wouldn't be ups and downs. Well, recently, it is reported that to evaluate the renminbi, the central bank of China is uh, going to tighten the money supply. Of course, uh, this may lead to rising of mortgage rates and also decreases the Chinese people's uh, uh, purchasing power of anything, of residential houses, and uh, it will control the increasing of these house prices. But also there are some other important factors as well. For example, um, population mobility or aging of the population is changing the real estate demand because the older population is, there is like falling of total demand of real estate market. And it indicated the improbability of dramatic rise of houses prices. Well, um, in fact, the housing pricing um, in the first year cities in China has suppressed the buyer's earning power. Most people cannot afford buying houses, so they have to do the down or uh, they need a help from elders, what is unsustainable. Therefore, the housing price in future shouldn't rise anymore, and it should fall sooner or later. Mm, right. Interesting and good predictions with the uh, persuasive evidence. Uh, I think the most expert uh, predict that the real, real estate market will be steady uh, in general in the future for the release of regulatory policies with such an improvement that we believe uh, the real estate market will be balanced and uh, uh, have a sound and steady development in the future.